Hello friends, welcome to the new tutorial of Magento 2. So today we are going to learn about the how to call CMS block in Magento 2 PHTML file. So whatever you have PHTML file, suppose you want to add a custom block or call a custom block. So how you are going to do it? So first of all, uh, let's see, we have to create a custom block. So basically you can see that in the blocks, I have already a custom block. Okay, if I go with create one, this is my identifier. Okay, and you can see that here I have added the text. Okay, so uh, whenever I try to call this block, full content of that one should be available on that block, right? So I need to call this block in any of the PHTML file. There are two methods to call this. Let's see how to get it. So currently I'm going to call it over here, like this here. Okay. So let's see how I'm going to calling uh, the this static block into here. Okay, so let's see that. First of all, in the um, it, there are two methods. Whether you want to call with the help of the uh, like uh, PHP code, so just you need to add this one. Okay, get this layout, create block Magento CMS block because I'm calling the block portion. So I'm using this class. Okay and uh, which block id currently the my block id is basically the test one right this is the identifier that should be used this is test and to html whatever it has the data so it will convert into the html and then it will render that one so if i'm going to save this i'm going to, uh, and go to the terminal and flush the cache okay and let's see is it coming or not It's coming okay I have added a lorem ipsum here lorem ipsum lorem ipsum right so you can see that I'm successfully calling this in our PHTML file there is another method also that is with the help of the layouts let's see that one also so in the layouts that I have to call here I need to just pass this one because in the reference container I need to create a one more block over here which which names is to be the block I block that is a test one so here this is a block class same one magento cms block block and name you can suggest anything arguments that is the block id that you need to pass and that should be the string and which is which is the block id that is a test finish by calling this one okay there, there should be two blocks right so i'm going to flush this cache and go to this one you can see that same thing happens with the help of the layout also and with the help of the php also so hope you understand how to call cms block into phtml file in magento 2 any query any issue in that let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like share and comment on my video and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to my channel have a great day